Now let's talk about the changing face of auctions in the Rhode Island area. Mark Murphy, the editor of the Providence Business News, joins us. And that's the subject of the cover story in the current edition of the newspaper, Changing Ages, Changing Tastes. Uh, of the people who want to buy stuff from auctions. It's a, it's a really a fascinating study. It is. Now, we wrote a little bit uh, a while ago about millennials and their, uh, essentially, their need to declutter. You know, they don't want their parents to hand them down all that stuff. And that's playing itself out in the, in the auction world, is that a lot of things that are, say, mid or early 20th century or even more recent are falling out of favor. I mean, they don't want... Uh, little tchotchkes, I mean, uh, you know, the <laughs> little Yadro figures or Hummels and all the rest of it. So those of us who have a big collection, we don't know what the heck we're going to do with them. <laughs> um, so, but they do like sort of modern uh, stuff. So modern Danish furniture so is, is kind of a, a staple. Uh, they're looking for pop art. So Liechtenstein versus, well, Rembrandt would be out of there. Price League, but yeah. that, you know what I'm talking about. So modern, you mean like 60s modern, that kind of stuff? Yeah, uh, really a different, uh, a different aesthetic altogether. It is. It's modernist, uh, you know, modernist furniture, modernist uh, uh, paintings, uh, you know, all of those kinds of things that go inside a house, and not necessarily big ones either. I mean, it's going to be stuff that fits into a smaller house. Now, I've noticed a couple of things having watched auctions since the 70s when I started uh, reporting in this business, and there are a lot more auction houses than there were. And that, according to your article, is because the, the system was kind of deregulated a few years ago. That's right. So we don't actually, we called up and we don't know how many auction houses there are. The other thing is that online auctioning has taken a, is now making a big impact on the industry. So you could have uh, some, quote, auction houses that are online only. Hmm. And even the ones that are working with the, you know, with the internet, there the number of bids goes up as well. So you have a, a sort of a, some uh, companies, some auction houses are mixing the two. Some are maybe even all internet. And there are some sort of old school folks who say, I don't want anything to do with the internet on my auctions because I want people to come in personally, see and touch where it's appropriate. Uh, the stuff being auctioned off. All right, so a lot of a lot of and pieces, antique pieces, uh, I think, according to your article, are, are flooding the market. That's got to have some kind of an impact. Well, there are collectors, and I think that they're sort of figuring that at some point it'll all come back. So if they collect, they, they figure they'll be able to sell them. The stuff that's really high end, even if it's older, will still go, and those are the collectors. It's the stuff that's in between, you know, again, the stuff that your parents might have collected and that's uh, the baby boomers. As they try to declutter their lives, their children don't want to clutter them up. Yeah, another, another way you can tell how the tastes are changing is the kind of stuff that's left on the street for people to pick up before the garbage men come. It, a lot of the stuff, as you said at the beginning, uh, that uh, older folks were ho hoping to pass on to the, their children, their children don't want it. Yeah, and, they, and you, you, it used to be you might be able to, you might see uh, parents saying, uh, well, I'll have a little auction, you know, an estate sale. Well, you know, those tags might be $1 or $5, <laughs> so there's not a lot coming in from there. Yeah, there's much more about this uh, current edition of the Providence Business News, uh, online and in print. Mark Murphy, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Frank.